Hey everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org back again with another IT career related questions that I started a series. So if you're new, go to YouTube, type jobskillshare, click on playlist, and then click on IT career questions. So this actually started from another uh, question from another mem uh, a user, sorry. I'm not sure if he's a member or not, but so we clicked on, let's say, can I start an IT career as a system administrator? So I'm gonna click on that and just show you the real conversation that happened actually yesterday. So, you know, it started with this question right here. Okay, I get your point. And basically I made a video about, can I start IT career as a systems administrator? So then uh, Alexander, uh, you know, asked a question. Okay, I get your point. I should start my IT career in help desk IT support so that's great. Now my question is how long should how long should I be in the help desk as a bare minimum minimum before I do the next step uh, you know to get into the system admin or what is an average time to move up uh, from IT support to systems admin your answer would be greatly appreciated. Uh, first of all thank you to be in this conversation and uh, you know that's a good really good question. So I want to show you some of the real examples. So I cannot make examples like this. This is very serious stuff right here because uh, you know there's there's a lot to it. So for example, if you look at look down, another uh, user uh, uh, posted something. Uh, let's say okay, this is the one right here uh, from caution. One might be able to start in a system admin role, but honestly, you would probably require one year of nonstop search study to get someone to take this uh, to take this chance which which bears the question why not uh, you know why not go to get a one year directly directly relevant uh, help this experience while getting search on your spare time uh, even then most places will not consider you as a for a system admin without three years of IT admin experience uh, a good sys admin helps that help this so yeah so basically what caution is saying he's also saying the right things but there may be a little a different way to you know uh, explain mm -hmm. this so uh number one uh i i don't believe it should take three years for someone to become a help desk sorry become a system admin um and i also uh don't believe in uh you know you doing certifications to acquire that type of skills Remember, certification is great, but that's where the problem is that a lot of people don't know how to use this certification. And like I explained in many of my videos that people have MCSA, people have CCNA, people have some cool certification, but they still can't even do, can't even perform the help desk, uh, you know, day-to-day uh, uh, -day jobs. The reason for that is that no one basically explain that certification learning uh, into a real world learning the way we do things in our platform. So. Let me show you two examples and then I'm going to move forward with more explanation. So just to kind of like clear this, uh, you know, confusion that, you know, uh, when I say it's possible, it's possible when you have some type of knowledge. So the first member that I'm going to show you, it's basically he took a live training. Now, I don't want to promote my live training over here because I'm going to show you two different uh, learning from two different members. One did live training, one did free training. I don't even know. I think he probably uh, did a membership plus, which is very like, you know, a small amount. But but the, the person who did a live training came from a QA, which is also an IT career, uh, IT type of job, but it's not actually a support type of job. It's a QA. It's a different type of job. They do testings and stuff like that. Uh, so he didn't have too much knowledge about a system admin area, and he didn't want to go to a help desk. Uh, so he knew the help desk stuff, you know, everything about that. So he just didn't want to go through that route. He directly took uh, um, a, a system admin live training. I hope he's doing great right now. So here's, here's let me show you his conversation. I removed his uh, personal information, but I'm going to show you this information. He took the training. It took him a few months to learn all of the stuff that he did in the training. Then he had uh, access to labs. He was doing a lot of it, but I don't think he went to certification route. So here you go. Look at look at the first uh, um, uh, text right there. Hey, sorry, I got this. I got the job. Senior system administrator now busy as heck. Okay, that's the same things that I talked to you about in my other video. That you know, when you land a job like that, then you know, then you should be ready for something, uh, you know, more stressful things. But he he's okay with that. So you know, he hey man, no worries and big congrats. I'm sure it will be busy in the big 
beginning yeah, that's my english beginning in the start thanks bro uh but with little time you will get to know your systems and then sh it should be good you know it should be all good yep so the guy right here actually is managing a team right now he's in some data center he is, he's very like you know i would say smart that he was able to learn something quickly but he was actually doing qa for a long time so he knew the business environment he knew how to deal with people and stuff like that so uh he he kind of managed that i don't know where he is right now if he, he listened to this video maybe he should comment and let us know but it, i just want to tell you i just want to show you that it's possible you know and he just did a training like a training direct training few months of learning and boom he got the job as senior system admin so number one that's a real world example right there mm -hmm. but let me show you another example where a member took courses like you know self-paced courses so i don't know if he, i think he was a member a plus member or premium member i don't know um i, I don't have uh, i can prove it right now but then i don't have that kind of time right now so let me just quickly finish this video so here it says right here uh if you go to jobscreshare.org and just search for his name or here he has two articles right here that's the one that he sent it to us so the first one look at this august 17 these certification came at the right time now when he's talking about certification this is not a a plus type of certification this he's talking about our courses basically so he was a member actually he was a plus member i, I believe in the beginning so here, here you go look at this mm -hmm. hey my name is Raul thomas and i actually made a video on this uh and if you look at you know um uh, his previous work he was working in best buy okay he he was working in best buy and then he landed an it job he started an it job and then after some months and you can see the difference between these two uh, august 17 and then january 18 so that's a few months like probably four or five months it all started the moment i decided to join your site this is a second article when he landed a bigger job and he jumped let me show you here i think i already mentioned that before he jumped 30k more so i can guarantee you he got a really good job above the help desk level that he could jump in five months he jumped that much and i explained that to people that this mm -hmm. is it mm -hmm. and i explained that again and again that anything can happen if you make your mind and plan for it when i say plan for it you have to take courses not with us i mean i'm not just saying that come and do it with us anyone anyone that you think can teach you real world skills then you have something different going on so as uh, he did a really cool thing here he actually put up questions out there too so i'm going to put his link because if people are watching this uh he put an interview questions in this uh blog also which is really cool thank you so much for that um now let me go back to uh the question again over here now the second the second comment from caution nothing nothing against that it's true uh but the thing is this that you have to see uh if a person worked like uh, he's right it, it depends on a company too if you work in a technical company then if you have tier level system tier one tier two tier three and all that's just like you know that levels then it really depends on how this company is you know is this a positive company they uh, do they like taking people from bottom to up do they push you do they give you ability do they give you resources is this is this the culture in that company if that's true then you're going to go up really quickly because in that same company you can go up but if it's not true if your managers are like you know i don't know i don't want to say any names but uh, you're surrounding the culture is not like that they don't like you making more money because you know you're they know you're really good at it but and you know your worth you 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 your technical ability is way more than just forty five thousand dollars a year then you know can you can make more that company you can never go up because the thing is is they're gonna how much are they gonna give you raise two thousand three thousand four thousand uh so this the your progress to go up is going to be really slow in that and 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 and, and thinking about becoming a system admin which will give you a cert, uh, certain boost for like 30k 40k that's not going to happen you know most of the companies uh like like i said it depends on the culture so you have to see what is what is your surrounding what is the environment is this positive that they are did you see someone else jumping like that then you you have a way to go up in that company if not and you know that it's time for you to move up then move up now the question the basic question is that what is the bare minimum by giving you these examples i wanted to prove you that the bare minimum from our side i would say six months 
six months is enough for you to get this whole help desk thing away from you because the way we teach you or somebody who is into this type of teaching they teach you so much that you don't need to learn this all over again the people who get stuck in the help desk they usually do repetitive work uh, take this term repetitive work they do the same thing again and again and again and again but they don't want to learn uh, you know more advanced um, stuff like you know maybe they have servers and everything they don't they don't Take that time and I understand that you may be really tired you may have a family but you know we all have we all we all go through this stuff so that's where you have to take the decision after six months if you think you know the help the stuff you really don't need to do this and you see the repetitiveness is coming again and again and you're not learning anything new this is the time that you should be uh, investing that you know uh, in, into something else you have to learn something more to be able to go up so my suggestion to a lot of people is that why we have designed these courses there's a reason for the way we design our courses if you look at the help desk into level to specialist this is not a, just a ticketing type of system course where you take a call customer service we don't believe in that we believe in making you an IT professional so the way you learn things in this course you're like a mini system admin right from day one so when you start learning this your mind is becoming like a system admin that's another thing that you have to break that mind that mentality that you need to get away from the help this side if you want to move up then that's where you have to prepare your mind right from the day one and when your day one you start learning stuff like that then it's a common sense after six months you have learned so much just like a system admin that it makes it easy for you just like these other people that have done this in this platform um so um and, and you know uh, another thing is that you know who is telling you this what's the authority behind this now I don't have any authority I just have kind of I'm, I'm telling you based on experience where and I, I'm an IT person I work in different type of environments we have our own company you know my 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 surrounding people like my brothers and everybody there they have different type of companies so we we have like my scope of uh, you know looking at different things uh, is pretty wide so if another system admin, uh, you know, for example, they are system admin too. Somebody has, somebody's working for past 20 years as a system admin. So they also have authority to say something about that. But remember that, you know, if, if somebody's saying that it, it will take you this many years or that many years, then the question will be to the same person who is putting this question to you is that how much, uh, you know, how, what is their, what is their scope? What is their job? Like, you know, did they work in different type of companies? Have they worked in an IT service management company? Have they done in, you know, work in a nonprofit company? Have they done work in a corporate type of level companies? Are they working in schools and stuff like that? What is their scope of, you know, experience? And I'm not saying anything against anybody. It is just that, you know, it's like, um, it, it, it's a different thing. When somebody teaches stuff for so long and somebody who works in, in an environment and that's just one environment, there's a big difference in that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I made sense. I, this was so confusing to even explain this stuff, man. But anyway, I'll make another video if you didn't get this uh, clearly. But I hope you get the point that, you know, you can really, really uh, get get, uh, get with the system admin positions in six months. And, you know, um, then you can you can get better. I'm not saying you when you become a system admin in six months and you're going to be the best system admin, you're going to know every single thing. No, I'm saying that after six months, it's easier for you to land these type of jobs. And then you can move up and become a real good system administrator. I don't know how much how many years it will take you. But, you know, yes, you can become one a real good system admin after six months. Thank you so much. See you guys in a different video.